Alright, hello, welcome to another Ultimate Game Host video tutorial. Today we're going to look at working with Gary's Mod and an add-on that requires MySQL database in order to function. The add-on we'll be looking at today is TacoScript Classic 1.1, and we're going to go through everything from uploading the add-on to the server, configuring the database, and setting it up to work, testing it out with gameplay footage as well, making sure everything functions, and checking back in with the database to ensure everything is set up properly. So let's go ahead and get started. I have set up a test server. You can see here in HLSW it's a stock reinstall of Gary's Mod. I've put a password on it and renamed it just to keep folks from using it in the meantime while it's set up. Same server set up here in the control panel, ready to use. And we'll get started with uploading the TacoScript files. So you can open up your FTP client. And I have a bookmark set up in FileZilla for this Gary's Mod server, so I can access the directory structure right away on it. And what we're going to do is start looking at what we have here that we need to work with. In fact, I'll open it here locally to the system first. This is one file I wanted to show you first. Inside the TacoScript files I downloaded, and I'll provide a link in the description to the locations for all of these files. Some of them reside at code.google.com, and a number of them reside at facepunch.com. If we look at the TacoScript Classic 1.1 download, we'll see a section called Required Modules. And this is important because these are the Lua modules that we need in order to run TacoScript. We need GMRCon. MySQL OO and Gatekeeper. Now if we look up a folder here, I have Gatekeeper and Archon here. And if we go into the MySQL OO folder, which I downloaded as well, in the Lua and Includes and Modules, we have the two modules needed for MySQL OO. So let's go ahead and get these uploaded to the server. We will start with the files for TacoScript. We want to put them in the root of the server. We're already there because we can see the add-ons, data, and game modes folder. So I'm going to go ahead and take these three folders, and I'm going to upload them to the server. Now this will take a couple minutes, so I'm going to cut the film now and come back to you when it's done so I don't have to spend your time watching this upload. Okay, so that upload is now finished. We have the add-ons, data, and game modes installed to the server, and we're ready to start on uploading the other modules. So let's go up a directory here. I'm going to go into the Lua folder, the includes and modules on the game server itself. And we're going to upload the gatekeeper and archon DLLs. And we're also going to go into the MySQL OO, the Lua includes and modules, and upload these two DLLs. So there we have it. All of those files are in place. Now we need to change some settings for the, the game mode itself for TacoScript. So go into TacoScript, into the game mode folder here. And we have server underbar security.lua. We're going to do a view edit on this. And we have to change this line so it's false. So what this does is it only allows people on the server if exclusive testing is on and then it only allows these Steam IDs within the exclusive list. And we don't want that in this case because we want to actually start playing on it right away. So I'm going to change this to false. We'll do a save here. I'll close it out. We'll upload it back to the server. If I refresh that side, file size should change, and it has. Okay. And now we need to configure the game mode for TacoScript to use the MySQL database. So we'll open up the data, TacoScript, and mysqlconfig.txt, and we'll do a view edit on this. Now you can see it's got values for the SQL Server IP, the username, password, and the database name. The port's the default, and that's, that's fine in our case. We need to get this information. That's where the control panel comes in. We go over to the Extras tab, MySQL Database. I'm going to hit Reinstall Database just to make sure we have a fresh copy to work with, and click Login Info. And here's all the credentials and information I need to set up the database with the mod. I'm going to copy this, 
and click OK here. And go back over here to this file. I'm going to open up another Notepad document so I have them side by side to compare. And I'll paste that information into that. Move things around here so it's easier to see. And we'll grab the IP address, so 127.0.0.1. Copy and paste that there. The database user is the next field, so we'll copy that over. Password. And the database name. And paste that there too. Let's save this. And close it. Choose yes to upload it back to the server so it's changed. If we refresh, the file size changes. Now we need to do the initial setup to create the schema and the tables for that database. So we'll go up to the folder for TacoScript and we have a TacoScript Classic.sql. Now many mods will have a similar thing. They'll have a file for configuring the database settings and then they'll also come with a SQL file which you can use to create the initial database tables and such so it's all ready for the game to actually start using it. So let's open this file up. And it's opened up a little bit strange in Notepad, so I'm going to do Open With and choose WordPad. That handles it a little better. We'll do Edit and select all on this. Edit, Copy. We'll go back to the Web Control Panel. We'll scroll down here. We'll, we'll just paste the whole thing right in there and hit Run SQL. And it has done that against the database. So we'll do clear out that output and the input, and we'll do a quick check here to show tables, we'll run SQL. So we have taco script characters, donations, real-time donations, and users. And what I'll do now is actually join the server in-game, and we'll go through the initial setup of the character, and then we'll come back to the web control panel and take a look at the database and see what's changed and that everything's working properly. But before I do that, we're not quite done. We have to change one more thing, and that's the uh, server command line. So I'm going to open up the config and command line. I'm going to do a refresh here to get everything back up to date. I'm going to change the game mode to taco script. I'm going to click on apply. Click OK. We'll come back over here to HLSW. We'll just wait for the server to come back. And once it's back and says it's Gmod and Taco Script, it's all ready to use, and we'll go ahead and join it in game. So we're good. Be in game in a moment here. Okay, so we're in game now. I'm going to go ahead and issue a connect statement to get myself onto the server. Okay, so we're connected to the server now. We need to answer the initial questions related to connecting to the server. So I'll go ahead through these Half Life 2. Yes, no, yes, yes, out of character is OOC. We'll do continue here. We'll change the name. We'll call this UGH test. We'll make it 37 today. The race will be... We'll go with the Indy 500. The description. This character as a description. We'll click done here. We'll choose a model. And I'm not too worried about stats since it's just a test. Okay, we're done. I'll click once to spawn in, and here we are. So Taco Script's up and running. All set to start doing all sorts of um, RP-related stuff. I'll go ahead and get out of the gameplay now. We'll go back and check the database and make sure the character was created, and then we'll be all set for this tutorial. Okay, so we are back out of the game now. We're going to take a quick look to make sure the character is created properly. So we'll minimize the command line tab there, and we'll go into the extras, MySQL database. I'm going to hit clear here to get rid of the previous look. And we're going to choose a couple of tables here and look at all the entries for them to identify what we have. So I'm going to do a select, 
asterisk from ts underbar users semicolon and the select star from ts underbar characters. This is going to show all of the users in the database and all the characters in the database. So let's do a run SQL. So there we have it. There's the user. It's just me for now. And then we have the character I created, the name, UGH test, the model I chose, citizen, the age, everything that I set up for that character is now in the database and stored, ready for me to connect and gain tokens, whatever I'm going to do on the RP server. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.